I think it's safe to say that the future of Hell Let Loose is somewhat in the balance. After releasing a video talking about, well, the main issues that are here right now and how they can fix it, I actually wanted to make a more positive video about Hell Let Loose and actually talking at the future to see what I would love to see, what could be coming and, well, what I think might not have the possibility of coming into the game just yet. One of them being probably the most requested feature that I'm not so sure about. Does someone say Japan? We got a roadmap back in February, and that's pretty much come to the end of its line. The British Forces rework, the new map being more Tane, the new game mode of Skirmish. I, I don't know about the console server browser, I'm going to be honest, but there's definitely free and <laughs> paid DLC. But there are a couple of things that I haven't quite been touched upon. Changeable weather conditions. Okay, there are map variants in terms of fog and things like that, but there's a new unannounced map on the horizon once again. And I think the reason they haven't announced it because it is part of the next set of factions. We got first, Germany and the US. Then coming in was Russia with a load of new maps. Of course, they wouldn't announce things like Stalingrad and Kursk before the faction was announced because that would completely ruin it and spoil it. We then got the British faction reworked, once again announcing the British were coming before El Alamein being announced as their first map, along with Driel. But what's next? Well, I can't really speculate too much on the unannounced maps, but we do know that there's a high possibility of the Greeks and Mediterraneans coming into Hell Let Loose, fighting in this Mediterranean front, and actually I think it would work quite well. You've got a lot of coastal and seaside towns that would work brilliantly. Not only this, but the potential possibilities of going into the Alps, adding in people like the Italians. They haven't really been spoken about, but the Greeks and Mediterranean areas have. So I think it's more likely at this point in time. But if we want to know a little bit aesthetically of what this could look like, especially if we do go into the Alps, we can look at a game like Isonzo that brings out this vibrant gameplay better than I've ever seen done before. And it is gorgeous. And it is a very similar game in terms of its gameplay style. Maybe a little bit faster paced, but I think a lot of this could work within Hell Let Loose. But then it brings us on to the far future. This is not something I think will come anytime soon, but somewhat of a possibility. And this is the Pacific Front. I think the first World War II game to do this between Squad 44 and Hell Let Loose will blow the other competition out of the water because it is such a huge and requested feature. Fighting on the Pacific Front has always been somewhat underrepresented in Western media, and even when Battlefield 5 did it, that was their crown and glory. That was what actually made people like Battlefield 5 after the huge disaster of its launch. So seeing that within a game like Hell Let Loose and refined as well as they possibly can considering their well track record recently, I would love to see and I know so many other people would. However, I do think it might come with its holdbacks, its limitations and maybe even Hell Let Loose just doesn't suit it at all. Let's look a little bit about the mechanics of a game like Hell Let Loose. The maps are set up, well, granted, very flat. I mean, the biggest incline is probably at the start of Stalingrad when you're playing as the Russians, trying to get up that little hill from the beach. I guess when you're coming down from the German side and you've got that little drop down into the train yard, there's a little bit of <laughs> elevation there, but other than that, what hills do we even have? Foy has a little bit that you're able to sit on top with tanks, but <laughs> I can't actually think of any map in Hell Let Loose that has anything other than flat, barren wasteland with a bit of <laughs> trees, bushes, and some buildings in between. How is that going to work in the Pacific? Famously, guerrilla warfare, hiding in the trees, hiding in the bushes, using foxholes to your advantage. It's just not the way that Hell Let Loose has been played up to this point. And I'm not saying it can't be played that way, but I just haven't seen it yet. And I don't know if the mechanics really fit to it. First of all, things like artillery need to be removed, but if you haven't watched my previous video, some of Hell Let Loose's biggest issues, well, I think artillery should be removed anyway. Vehicles are going to have to be completely changed. Having amphibious vehicles will be absolutely awesome, and we have seen little bits and pieces of that, of like Utah landings and things like that, having multi-terrain tanks, but I think that would be a huge overhaul that would have to be considered. And then, once again, it goes into the way that combat is fought. It's no longer on flat maps within buildings. It's going to be very much having to find and use the terrain. Having fighting in jungles is something that we haven't seen in the game before. And it is another step up from El Alamein. That was the best example that we can use of Hell Let Loose trying to alter its gameplay style for a different front. It worked well when we went to the Eastern Front, but as soon as we went to Africa, El Alamein with the British rework, it just didn't work so well. 
Hell Let Loose players weren't quite sure what was going on because the mechanics had all of a sudden changed. The map was way more open. People had to run for miles. So they made everybody so much faster than tanks. They completely changed the way the mechanics were to try and ram them into this new gameplay style that the map of El Alamein had conjured up. So a very similar change might happen with the Pacific maps. In fact, it would probably be entirely the opposite. So much less movement, so much more crawling around and tied to warfare and tied to battles, I think would completely change the way that Hell Let Loose is played. And I'd love to see it, don't get me wrong, but I am very skeptical about how it could work in certain scenarios. But what could be added in with it? Well, there are a lot of interesting possibilities here. Of course, we'd see the Japanese army, but not only that, I think the US would get some sort of an overhaul. Having the US Marine Corps, which would be awesome. Having the Springfield rifles, new SMGs and LMGs like the M1917. Instead of bombing runs, maybe they could have some naval bombardments as well, much like you have the rockets for the Russians in Stalingrad on Kursk. And also, there are the possibility of adding in some coalition armies. At the moment, we kind of have that in some ways. For the British Army, you can have some skins of some coalition and the rest of the Commonwealth. But it's not really been delved into that much. I'd love to see the Australian Army that fought somewhat in the Pacific as well. And having some guns that came with them like the Owen and Austin SMGs. That would be absolutely awesome. On the Imperial Japanese side, of course, we've seen in Battlefield 5 adding things like the plunge mines. Katanas, which are very iconic, but not really all that used. I mean, who actually melee kills in Hell Let Loose? Okay, there's probably quite a few memes of melee kills going around. Hitting someone on the shovel is very satisfying. I understand. I just I just don't see it being used all that often in complete honesty. <laughs> Having a game that is full of open fields, sniper jewels, hedgerows, I think would be a nice change to go into something like the Pacific. But it would take so much changes. Having maps like Iwo Jima, Guadalcanal, Okinawa, all that sort of thing would be such a big amount of work that whilst I think it would come at some point, it would either warrant a complete overhaul of the game or maybe even plans for a sequel. Because there has been talk when Team 17 bought Hell Let Loose back a couple years ago that they were making this into some sort of a franchise. And I think they might have flipped on that somewhat since it hasn't quite been as successful as they wanted to, mostly down to the fact they're focusing way more on the management side rather than actually making a good developed game. Hopefully we can see that come into Hell Let Loose. However, knowing the way Team 17 is going, I would probably expect they split that into a separate game, maybe even a DLC or an expansion, which wouldn't be ideal for us and the player base, but <laughs> There is a lot of content that would be coming with it, so I could imagine Team 17 going that direction. But I think it is very likely our next maps will either be the Greek campaign going into the Mediterranean or Polish troops. We know the Polish and the Finnish will be coming in very, very soon. We haven't actually heard anything other than seeing it on a roadmap a few years ago, but they will be coming in. Along with that, probably we'll be seeing some French campaigns. So the possibilities are that for being the next unrevealed map. But tell me what you think about being the Pacific. Am I overreacting? Is it actually more possible than I'm giving it credit for? Or would it be like what we saw on a smaller scale for El Alamein? A complete change to the gameplay style that really means they have to move back and rework from the ground up. I think that's more the likely possibility. But let me know what you think. Make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe for more content and updates for Hell Let Loose.